What's up guys, Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use the Revolve tool inside of Rhino in order to create complex surfaces by revolving them around an axis. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so basically what the Revolve tool is going to do is it's going to allow you to create a surface by revolving a profile curve around an axis. So let's say, for example, that I was to come in here and let's just generate a shape real quick. So we're just gonna come in here, We'll add a line and we're gonna use something a little bit more, um, we'll call it rectangular. All right, so we'll just go with a simple shape like this. So basically what we've done is we've created a profile here. And what we wanna do is we wanna take all of these edges and we wanna revolve them in a circle around a central point. And so to do that, you can either go to surface tools and look for the option for revolve, or you can also just type in revolve and hit the enter key. So it's gonna ask us to select the curves to revolve. We're just gonna select this series of edges right here and hit the enter key. And so now it's going to ask, ask us, okay, what direction or where do you want me to rotate this from? Well, in this case, I want this to be rotated around this central point right here. So I'm gonna click here, remove my mouse, and I'm gonna click again like this. And so notice what that does is that gives me a line right here around which everything is going to be revolved. So. Now it's gonna ask me a few things. So first off, it's gonna ask for my start angle. In this case, it's just gonna be a start point right here. I'm just gonna click on my object like this. Well, notice how now, if I move my mouse, what that's gonna do is that's gonna come in here and that's going to actually revolve this in a circle just like this. And so you could create a closed object by moving your mouse over here and um, clicking on this point right here. You could also click on full circle right here. And when you do that, what that's gonna do is that that's gonna revolve this 360 degrees around the circle. So if we look at this, notice what that's done is that's come in here and that's generated the shape. Now, one thing to note about this is this did generate all of these separate surfaces. So probably what you would need to do in that situation is you would probably need to select them all and then join them together in order to get a complete object instead of a bunch of individual objects just like this. But you can see how creating this revolved shape was really easy. And so we could do this for other interesting applications as well. So let's say for example, we want something a little bit more organic. And so one thing I find helpful if I'm not using the axes in here is to draw just kind of a baseline in here. That's gonna act more as a guide for me than anything else. But then what I can do is I can draw a line out like this. And then we can just go ahead and we can do a control point curve. We're just gonna add a simple curve in here. So nothing crazy. We'll just finish this curve, but then we can do the same thing. And depending on if we want this to have a top or not, we could draw a line across here. I don't necessarily want it to have a top, but now what I can do is I can type in revolve and I wanna select this curve and this curve right here and hit the enter key. Well, then I can click on this point, move my mouse up and click again in order to revolve this in a circle. So notice how again, I'm able to do this to whatever number of degrees that I want. So for example, if I wanted this to go 270 degrees, I could just type in a value of 270 and hit the enter key. And that'll just revolve this 270 degrees. And again, remember that the base and this object right here are created separately because um, the bottom line that was in here was part of a different object was a separate curve from the curve that made up the top part right here. But you can use this in order to really quickly create these revolved objects in Rhino. All right, so sometimes you wanna create more complex shapes that don't necessarily follow like the simple smooth rotation. So for example, let's say that I had an arc like this one that I wanted to um, basically revolve around this central point, but I want it to follow along this curve like this. So if we were to come in here and use the regular revolve function, right? So if we were to select this and then select our revolve axis, We could revolve this around, right? But it's not gonna give us a complete object in here. It's gonna give us an object that just kind of sits inside. However, um, if you hover over this, notice how there's an option to right click to activate a different tool called Rail Revolve. What Rail Revolve is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to revolve something around this edge, but it's gonna also set that this follows a rail around the outside. So if I was to right click on this, it's gonna ask me for the profile curve, which is gonna be this object right here. So I'm gonna select my profile curve right here. Then it's gonna ask me to select my rail curve, which is gonna be the curve around the outside like this. 
So I can click again in order to set that. But then I want to set the rail revolve axis, which is going to be the axis along which everything is rotated around. So I'm just going to click and then click. Well, notice what that does is instead of rotating this in a circle like this one does, it's actually going to use that rail as the path that it revolves around. So you can use this to create much more complex structures in here than the typical revolve function. So one thing I will note is there's a lot of power in doing this with something like Grasshopper as well, which we might talk about in a future video. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything we talked about, or if you'd like to see that Grasshopper Revolve tutorial. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.